Ukraine has lost almost half a million soldiers since the start of the war with Russia in February 2022, Russian Defense Ministry Sergei Shoigu has said. In total, the losses of the Ukrainian armed forces amounted to almost half a million military personnel since the beginning of the special military operation, Shoigu told a defense ministry meeting on Tuesday. The minister claimed that Western weapons failed to help Ukraine in its counteroffensive operation against Russia. Our servicemen have dispelled the myth about the superiority of Western weapons, the minister noted. He pledged to intensity the strikes against logistics centers and storage bases for Western weapons. In proportion to the threats posed by the United States and its allies, we will continue to improve the composition and structure of the armed forces and increase the production of the most popular weapons and military equipment, Shoigu said. Furthermore, Shoigu said that Russian troops will receive the first units of the S-500 anti-aircraft missile system. This new generation anti-aircraft system will be provided in two modifications, long-range anti-aircraft missile systems and missile defense systems, S-400, S-300 V-4, Buk M-3, Tor M-2U anti-aircraft missile systems, and new generation radar stations. Speaking about Russian army's performance on the front line, Shoigu reiterated Russia's earlier claims that it captured the villages of Pervomaysk, Bodenivka, and Novomykhailivka in April. In addition, Shoigu claimed that NATO has deployed nearly 33,000 servicemen, about 300 tanks and more than 800 other types of armored vehicles near borders of Russia. The minister the fact that Washington was poised to supply Kiev with a new military aid package worth nearly $61 billion following a vote by the House of Representatives on Saturday. He noted that NATO is currently holding military exercises involving 90,000 servicemen and the exercises are mimicking supposed impending Russian aggression. Touching upon Sweden's accession to NATO, the Russian defense minister said the prospects of this country's membership to the alliance has increased tensions. Sweden's entry into the North Atlantic Alliance in early March has increased military and political tensions in the western and northwestern strategic directions, Shoigo said. U.S. may send additional military advisors to Ukraine. The U.S. believes that Russia appears to be gaining momentum in the two-year conflict. They are considering the possibility of sending additional military advisors to the embassy in Kyiv, reports Politico. Pentagon spokesperson Major General Pat Ryder stated that advisers would not have a combat role but would advise and support the Ukrainian government and armed forces. Throughout this conflict, the Department of Defense has reviewed and adjusted the U.S. presence in Ukraine as security conditions change. We are currently considering the possibility of sending several additional advisers to enhance the Defense Cooperation Office at the Embassy, Ryder said in a statement to Politico. Ryder added that the office performs various advisory and support missions that are non-combat in nature. Throughout this conflict, the Department of Defense has reviewed and adjusted our presence in-country as security conditions have evolved. Currently, we are considering sending several additional advisors to augment the Office of Defense Cooperation at the Embassy, Ryder said. The number of personnel in the Office of Defense Cooperation is not disclosed for security reasons. Anonymous sources told Politico that the office's tasks include monitoring the weaponry sent by the U.S. to Ukraine. The additional troops will support logistics and oversight efforts for the weapons the U.S. is sending Ukraine, according to four U.S. officials and a person familiar with the plans who were granted anonymity to speak about a sensitive topic, the sources said. Two American officials have stated that the Office of Defense Cooperation will provide security for the embassy. Their number could reach 60. Those personnel are helping with oversight and embassy security. It was not clear how many additional U.S. troops would ultimately be sent to Ukraine, but two of the U.S. officials said the number would be up to 60, Politico's sources said. Recall on April the 20th, the U.S. House of Representatives approved aid to Ukraine. The total amount of the aid bill to Ukraine is $60.84 billion. The bill will now be sent to the U.S. Senate for consideration. President Joe Biden has called on the Senate to quickly send the bill to him for signing. Russians may step up attacks using time before U.S. aid arrives for Ukraine. ISW warns experts from the Institute for the Study of War ISW suggest that the Russians may intensify their attacks using a window before the arrival of new U.S. security assistance to Ukraine. 
Recall on the 20th of April, the US House of Representatives passed a supplemental appropriations bill that would provide about 60 billion US dollars in aid to Ukraine. The bill now needs to be approved by the Senate and signed by the President before the aid can be delivered. These requirements, as well as the logistics of getting US aid to the front line in Ukraine, are likely to mean that the aid will not start to have an impact on the battlefield for several weeks. The frontline situation will therefore likely continue to deteriorate in that time, particularly if Russian forces increase their attacks to take advantage of the limited window before the arrival of new US aid, the report says. The analysts note that Ukrainian forces may suffer additional setbacks in the coming weeks as they await US security assistance to allow Ukraine to stabilize the front. However, the Ukrainian troops are likely to be able to halt the current Russian offensive if renewed US aid arrives quickly. The report adds, the threat of an operationally significant Russian advance in the coming weeks remains, although the Ukrainian command may have more latitude to take short-term risks with dwindling supplies to prevent such an advance once it knows that more material will be arriving soon. Experts suggest that the Russians are likely to intensify offensive operations and missile and drone strikes in the coming weeks to take advantage of the closing window due to Ukrainian material constraints. In addition, Russian troops are continuing and in some areas have intensified offensive operations likely to take advantage of abnormally dry spring conditions and the ongoing shortage of Ukrainian supplies before the arrival of promised Western security assistance. At the same time, experts point out that Russian troops have achieved only tactical successes over the past six months of a deteriorating situation in Ukraine and are likely to achieve a breakthrough that would make the front line collapse.